Yo, yo, I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. Alright, we're gonna get part two out of the way here. If you work eight hours, I'm gonna work earlier. If the shit tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Like, like, uh, nah, I ain't a quitter. Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter. Big picture, I'm a straight killer. Rise in the song to the highest bidder. Got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast. New shoes, new tracks, like who's that? I'm new, come back better than last. Yeah, it's a new me, never gonna look back. Never gonna look back. Cause damn, I was built to last. You move slow and I move fast. And that's fast. Only I can make a change. Slowly take a step today. Welcome to the show, guys. Zero Dark Tony Show. I'm Tony D, your host. Like, subscribe, share. Super chats, super thanks, super this, super that's. We got the, uh, oh, we also have the, um, let's see. Anna, the inbred Nazi. I'm your biggest fan. I'll follow you until you love me. Anna. The inbred Nazi. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it. Well, look, I mean, we got all kinds of things going on in these chats and whatnot. Let's reconnect everything here. How you guys doing? We're going to do part two of this. And essentially what we're doing with part two is we cut off right about... We cut about we cut off about where Karen came in and she started to talk and I was cut off and listen to me very carefully. Earlier when the thing cut off, if you guys are watching earlier, I talked for like another 10 minutes after that shit cut off. <laughs> I talked for another 10 minutes. And then C Catherine was there and I was like, "Hello, is anybody in the chat?" <laughs> Uh, man, who's in here? What'd you just say? He's not in here. Denver Steve is not in this chat. Get out of here. You, uh, you fooled me. But you know who is in the chat? You guys. It's great to see you. I jumped on. I wanted to do part two because I cut it off right at the good part. This is right where Karen, the Karen, Karen, comes into the smash and just, I mean, you look at yourself in the mirror and you say to yourself maybe three or four times, I live in the trees and don't sweat it. So the goblin is here, ladies and gentlemen, the goblin 
The goblin has arrived, ladies and gentlemen. The goblin has arrived. Have no fear. The goblin is here. So, hey, what's going on? So what we were talking about, obviously, was Mark Fisher. And I swear to God, I called him ha Mark Harris in the last video. Forget that. If I say Mark Harris, it's, it's this guy, okay? They're both creeps. I just got to remember that. I was out, and I was like, God damn it. I, I'm, and I'm listening back to the show, and I said, I did it again. Yes, I watched the show. It's like a professional athlete wa uh, watching the, the tapes of the game. You got to see how you did. got to see what you did. You got to see what was strong, what was wrong, what was long, what was uh, bong. So let's get back into this right here. Karen has entered the room, and, um, you know... <laughs> We're going to take some of that Nora music and we're going to give it to Karen for this one because she, I mean, we were right about here. Oh, now, this is the picture that she said, yes, that's the one. That is the one that I use for my promotion. It's the one that makes me look like I am an underwater doll collection somehow in this experience. Uh, yes, I would just like to say hello to my friend Bane. Darkness is your ally. Yes. You merely adopted the dark. Is that so? I was born in it. Well, that's terrible. Molded by it. Must be a Scientologist. I didn't see the light until I was already a man. Oh, well, you it's see, Oak? to me but... Right. <laughs> Apollo ship? Were you on the Apollo ship, Bane? Bane was on the Apollo. And we're going to find out here what the Apollo is, and we're also going to see in this clip that... <laughs> Jan is here. All right. We already established the fact that this Janice is Eber's stepdaughter. Okay. So she just told the story that we didn't know about Eber. Okay. This gets back to Eber. Karen moves in. You got to go back to the last video and watch it. I'm not going to overlap, but Karen basically moves in and they've known each other since the 70s. Her and Janice Gilliam Grady is he Heber Gench's stepdaughter. So then Karen moves in with him. They take her in. She ends up fucking Eber, and Eber she becomes her friend's stepmother. Hello, hello. Is this thing on, Chris Shelton? Without further ado, here's Karen Delacarriere. Hi, Karen. Let me take this off. There she is. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi, Karen. <laughs> How are you doing today? Good. Doing real good. Doing real good. good love to those see pictures you. of the dogs. Mm. I love those pictures of you the know, dogs. You know, this sounds like her teeth just want to run out of her mouth. Seriously. And I'll tell you something. I am going to... My, I might do a, a quick, like, power edit of... A bunch of the stuff that you missed earlier in the 10 minutes that I thought I was talking to you guys and I was talking to myself. I did some hysterical Karen stuff, okay? <laughs> it's okay. You can come out now. Everybody's jumping behind the furniture. Jump in and give Janice a little tribute, a little acknowledgement. Uh -huh. There is no one in the world. Janny Grady is one of a kind. Oh, God. She has connected up. The ex Scientologists, especially ex Apollo, and formed a real solid community. Real solid community. Janice never gives up on you. She never gives up on you. She sent you email whether you were smart or not. What? When I was still in, Janice faithfully sent me a birthday and Christmas card. Okay, now I need you to look at this right here because this is the part where I lost you guys earlier, but here's the part where. Janice doesn't know what Karen De La Carriere is talking about, yet she just snaps right into this. It's like zombie, like, watch this. Watch what happens here when Karen De La, De La Carriere tells this. Because we're going to go back over it again. Yes. But. But. I wasn't saying sh uh, my teeth were just whistling because these are choppers. I have spent tens of thousands of dollars. I have extra, I have four extra rows of teeth, very much like a pterodactyl. 
<laughs> she has them all hypnotized. Exactly. Watch. Janice had a living. Look at them. Look at them. She does have them. Doesn't it look like? Now watch what she does with her hand. She does something like this. Now listen to me, Janice. It, it's fucked up. In spy, Janice and Terry had a private investigator of the cult living with them. And apparently Look at Janice's this guy face. Accessed her She's like, what? And saw that she huh? had sent me a birthday card. Or oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I was. Oh my so God, did you see what she goes? She goes, really? Okay. Oh, okay, Karen. Whatever you say. That didn't happen, but all right. Did you guys see that? Put a one in the chat if you saw it. I mean, and she came down here, and I need you to just slowly listen to me. <laughs> listen, look. Look, watch, watch what Janice does. Okay? Watch what Janice does. Okay, guys, this freaked me out earlier. When I was missing you guys, you guys weren't here. I was like, hello? Does anybody see this? Thank God you're here. I'm not crazy. Mom, Oreo smoothie now. Janice faithfully sent me a birthday and Christmas card. Janice faithfully sent me a birthday and Christmas card. I'm turning it up. But shh, shh, Janice had a living spy. Janice Look at Perry. Janice's face had a private investigator of the cult living with them. And apparently this guy accessed her email and saw that she had sent me a birthday card. Or oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So Did you see that shit? Really? Okay. For, I'll just roll with you, Carrot. Whatever you say. Re redo history. You just saw it right there. <laughs> Sorry, Steph. So I was summoned to Osa in with uh, with uh, a mandator in those days. <laughs> I, I, I obeyed. <laughs> I obeyed. And I was ordered to Osa in. A little bit in anxiety. And I was ordered to Osa in because I had to say Osa because I needed to terrorize and terror people. Look at Look at Janice's face. She's like, what the fuck is this bitch talking about? What is she talking about? Because keep in mind, we've got to remember, all right, that if we're talking about this guy, Mark Fisher, we're talking about this guy, all right? So we got to remember that the guy that we're seeing in the interview, remember, these are two girls, and please put in the chat what kind of ages you see. Look at his hand on her waist. Look at her defensive left hand. There, I don't know, maybe there's like a bandage on her hand or something. I don't know. But also look, uh, you know, look at just this whole picture. This is so disturbing. This is their guy. This is Mark Fisher. Uh, SPTV colleague, creator, friend of all theirs. And you see he's in the picture here with Karen. Now we're gonna show you a few more of the creators that she has been, uh, sorry, let's see, just to make sure everything's running there. Um, and actually I should just, I should just click that one out. Woo. <laughs> and then get back to that. Okay, so, Fedro, this is Fedro Fischer. So, yeah, he is, uh, mm, you know, this guy. So Karen is in the same frame. I just, look, I got to get this straight, okay? I got to make sure I have this right, <laughs> you know, because maybe I'm missing something here, but Mark Fisher, and by the way, Mark, again, I said it in the last video, what year was this taken? Why are, do you have two girls with you, these two young girls. How old do you think these girls look, by the way? I would say uh, anywhere between 11 and 13. This is disgusting. And then here, let's look at his article once again. And remember, at the bottom, he goes and he raves about this book. And then he says, my personal favorite. And remember, in Thailand, how expensive it is to live there. My personal favorite is the one-hour foot massages for about $7. I get at least one a day while I'm there. 
Hmm. So he gets at least one of these foot massages a day. Now, my question to Mark is, did these girls give you the foot massages, Mark? Because, you know, earlier I zoomed in on this picture, Mark, and I saw some very disturbing stains on some of this black clothing you have. So are these the girls, Mark, that you're, are, why are you, where, who's the guy in the boat in the back? Where is this boat? Is this, is this in the Philippines? Is this in Thailand? This does not look like the U.S. to me. If it is the U.S., you really got a problem, son. So where was this picture taken? Mark Fisher, was this picture taken in the United States? Please tell me this picture was taken in the United States. Can somebody find out where this fucking picture was taken, please? Jesus Christ. This is disgusting enough. Now imagine any of the fathers here, if you saw your daughter in this picture like this. Singapore, I don't know. This is one of the SPTV creators. This is the guy who, I remind you, one hour foot massages for about $7. So were these the girls, Mark, that gave you the massages? Did you get massages from these girls? And were there any other services involved because of your reported sex tourism site that we connected you to by following the money? And Dana did. And by the way, congratulations to Dana for getting to 1K tonight. We had the boys jump in there. They came through. And thank you, everybody else who's been supporting her. Hit the like button in this video. Okay. So let's get back to it because now I think we're clear here. See, there's Mark Fisher, right? Again, with Karen Della Carriere. Let me just make sure that everybody knows here what's going on. Mark Fisher, there. Same guy as here. Okay. And I was taken to a conference room. And the door burst open and Mike Sutter, ooh, I wish I had a picture of him. Mike Sutter came down, came into the conference room. And he slammed the door. Whose side are you on? <laughs> Janice Grady or us? <laughs> I had just been gone. I was just out Karen, of Karen, we can't hear you. You're too far mm -hmm. from the mic. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. oh fuck. My there slamming. I wanted to show how Mike Sutter slammed the conference table. Girl, you better f you you better be careful. You're gonna break your hip if you hit the, if you hit the table that hard. I mean, careful with those bones, honey. You pair with those brittle old bones. You got to be careful. You got the uh, osteoporosis. You know. How don't call dare me that. I be in touch with Janice Grady. How dare I? <laughs> He said, there's a... Do you want to fucking piss me off? Then call me that in my fucking chat. Seriously? A checker waiting for you. You are to go see the cashier, pay, and get 12 and a half hours of sex checks... Thank you. Why you and Janice Grady are connected. Stopped. Wow. I didn't know this. You asked me for stories. Yeah. So, Jenny, your Christmas and birthday card cost me. It ended up, I bogged and it ended up costing me like $25,000. Oh, wow. $25,000 because Janice oh. Grady spoke to me. That is the cult of Scientology. That's she just said to her, basically, you owe me 25 G's because I got in trouble because of you. Are you kidding me? This woman is so batshit. I, I just, every time I see these videos, something else happens. And the one that happened in this one was she, her telling this story. And then Janice Gillum Grady just poof, just going like, you know. Shows I am powerful. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, so my tribute is that Janice would send you a birthday card no matter what. <laughs> and she the trees. Whoa, she almost did it right there. Look, she's so close. Come on, do so it. So thank you, Jenny. 
You're just you're, one of a kind. You're welcome. I enjoy staying in touch with everyone. The old Apollo crew are like family to me. Okay, by the way, I just saw a short of Janice Gillum Grady earlier. I can't find it, but I saw a short of her. She's like in the Canary Islands on like a yacht trip or something. Did she just get like a lot of money from her stepdad? Like, what is she doing like in the Canary Islands? Like, oh, she's like, oh, what I don't know we all then, mate. You know, like, what? You know, I was a teenager all those years and they were like uncles and aunts and older brothers or sisters and, and hi, Donna. I'm Tony. You guys can call me Tony, okay? That's it. Call me Tony or ZDT. Thank you. That's all I ask. You know, I have uh, thousands of goblins looking up my ass. So, mm, let's not use that name and be a little considerate of me. That's all I'm asking, man. You know? I see this stuff and I look at it and as I look at it, I'm angry enough. You know what I mean? So that any little thing, when I start looking at this bitch, I get mad. Okay? So, perhaps I overreacted, but who cares? You're included. Donna Tidman is... I like to address something as quickly as possible. Then I won't think about it later. So, you know, just everybody just chill. I don't like that stuff. You know. It's stressful enough to have to watch this woman. So let's everybody just calm, calm it down. Kayate, por favor. She's so creepy. I need a shower. My toes are under my feet. I need a Brillo pad. In the chat. It's a bleach oh, for my okay. ears. Nora, where's oh, the bleach? No. Oh. Go ahead, Janice Grady. Janice. Recruited me for the Sea Organization. Oh, really? Oh. Yes, I did. <laughs> Janice found... I went... To I what? some hours. She recorded you for the, she recruited you? FCCI, flag case cups. I bought some hours just to have flag auditing. Mm -hmm. And Janice found me in the bowels of the, do you remember where it was on the Apollo? It, it was, was in the bowels. Mm. Hey, there's Dana, by the way. Welcome to the 1K club. Welcome to the big leagues, Dana. <laughs> you made it. Yo, bitch. Congratulations. Congratulations, everybody. Congratulations to Dana. Throw some hearts in the chat for her. No worries. You know. These people make the days longer, okay? Thinking you're in the tween decks? I don't remember. It was a sort of alcove. Yeah, I think it was outside the purser office on uh, yeah. the deck forward. Okay. Do you, yeah. do you remember when that was? Early seventies, three, seventy-three. Yeah. So, 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 so Janice comes in. And Hold says, on a second. I can't go past that. You know what we got to look at? We might have yeah, to do the zoom on his cup. The purser office on uh, yeah. the deck forward. Okay. Do you, yeah. do you remember when that was? Ew, he's so gross. Early seventies. Ew, look at that. It's a shit beat up. It is a beat to shit. Redskins. Oh my God, this dude. Look at this. This is a beat to shit. Redskins. Fucking. Look at this. This is beat to shit. Oh my God, it's Kool-Aid. It's Kool-Aid. They're all passing it around and drinking it. You see what Dana did there? It's the Kool-Aid. She's good. You know, that Dana is very good, and she's gotten so much better. There's a point that she's a very dangerous woman, and we need to monitor her and send very ugly women to talk to Tony so that Tony is tempted by the fruit of a rotten tree rather than Dana's fabulous bosom and her gams. <laughs> she talks like from the 30s. <laughs> Sorry, I won't do that again. I might. Three seventy-three. Yeah. So, 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 so. Nineteen seventy-three. Jimmy Carter. The Commodore 
when, when a messenger came to you, it was usually a message from the boss. Mom. And she said, <laughs> Say, fellas, <laughs> she, she's like uh, Herbert the pervert. Say, say, anybody want some cocktails? Or says, have you finished your FCCI? FCCI. He audit. probably does. She's like, she looks delicious. I wonder what her flank steak tastes like. I'm going to move into the trees outside of her domicile. Have you signed your billion year contract? Janice, okay, so earlier what we showed you, I don't know, did you see it earlier? We could take you back a little bit, but you see her telling this story when she comes in, just real quick, okay? And watch this. And apparently this guy accessed her email. Look at Janice's saw the Janice's face when she Without tells this story. Karen, okay, here's the intro. Just to go back over Janice this again. faithfully sent me a birthday and Christmas card. But... Look at her face. Janice had a living spy. Janice and Terry... Look at her face change right here. ...had a private <sighs> investigator of the cult living with them. and apparently this guy accessed her email and now look at Janice's face changing and then she got I, I, I love this part and then she goes oh okay and saw that she had sent me a birthday card or oh really yeah yeah okay. so I was she's like I didn't all right you better go along with Karen says Janice okay damn it Janice <laughs> thanks Richard that was a good one. So let's just move forward a little bit. We can just see a little more of the chit chat. Right. They thought we are giving her footage. Did her hair change her color? <laughs> yes. And other than the hate pages they make. They oh, make let's see the super that's, chats. That's Hold on. Own... <laughs> Why don't you explain, Janice? Who... Wow. The Scientology Money Project. I really love your special guest, Karen. Can you get me her phone number? Fucking douche. <laughs> That's Jeffrey Karen from Jeffrey Otter, right? What? Well, I mean, she's Jeffrey casting Jeffrey a spell on everyone. Wanting Karen's phone number so he can take her out on a hot date. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the super chat, Jeffrey. We appreciate it. We'll go to the next question here from Love Sherlock. Question: Where was Karen raised? She has an accent. How did she have the money to pay that twenty-five thousand, etc.? Oh, that's that a good question. I'm a global art dealer, a Thomas Kincaid art dealer. Well, the, I didn't have the 25000 all on credit card. And then you have to pay and pay and pay. When you're suddenly... A lot of people don't have $25,000 um, just sitting around to give. <laughs> Do you have $25,000 on the spot? You put it on credit card. I was born in India. And I was raised mostly in London. Hmm. So, you were born in India? I didn't know that. Yes, That's amazing. Yes, yes, yes. Calcutta. I'm bilingual. I speak French and English. Um, and I try to, I try to not have whatever accent is a blend of, <laughs> a blend of French, American, British. It's, it's a blend. What? Many people try to copy it and can't. Oh, I doubt that, that darling. Yeah, Listen, what you are is you are really a little bit of a couple of things. You're a dash of Catherine Hepburn. You're a dash of a bit of a of a of a mental patient in a hospital. Say, one flew over the cuckoo's nest. You're a little bit of a country and a little bit of rock and roll with a dash of curry. It all smells very bad. I've known you for over 40 years. I never knew that. I always assumed you were from France. What? Mm. I used to deliver L's in French. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm sort of You're French multilingual. Yeah. Uh-huh. So someone's asking, is that when India was under British rule? When you were born. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Because <laughs> your mother was British, right? Yes. And your Welsh. Was French? Mm -hmm. Yes. Fabulous. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks for that question. Wow. Next question here we got from Love Who Kitchen. Uh, question. Oh, was Folo the former name for the CLO? Yes. 
There was a fellow in a former con. Oh, uh, well, they're going to keep talking the language. And he flip flopped. One day he was Paulette Cooper's friend. Okay, well, day, we've seen enough of that one. I mean, he, the, the point is also to see what other, you know, what other people that they were getting with. But that you could watch that Karen thing. Jesus Christ, she is. She's a fucking. It's a mess. Okay, so let's go back down to where we were. Then we're going to roll up. That was the first one she was on. Okay, yeah, that one was down here. Okay, see, that one was down here. This one was four months ago. 15K views when Karen was on there. <laughs> but they had 3.5 when Mitch was on. And when Aaron was on, they only had 1.8K views. And then when Karen goes on, and, and let's say when uh, Jeffrey goes to tip, let's just look at that. You know what I mean? Like 15K views, my ass. These are just bought. A lot of them are bought. There's no way that these are all legit. So scrolling up here, we see, oh, another one with Aaron. All right, and we got one here. Oh, look at this. We got, who's this? Sarah, somebody down here that I've never seen before. You go, run, honey. Sarah Seltzer, whatever the hell. And then Lara FM, who looks like she's been on smoke and crack for like three days. And look at, look at Mark. He's like, ah, they're still too old for me. So Mitch Brisker, all right. And then we're just going to scroll up. Because I want to see some of the other people here. James, somebody. Okay, there's Janice. Oh, here's this one with Amy and her husband. They all saluted each other. You fucking weirdos. I don't even want to look. Okay, so who else? So now you see who else is supporting. Now remember, this is... Remember, Amy, when you're watching this, when you watch this, Amy, this is the guy that you're saluting in there. You're saluting this guy who probably has jizz stains of cum all over his fucking thing. Because when you zoom in on this, there are some very suspicious things that, you know, and it is what it is. And I don't know what else other services were involved here, but this is disgusting. And when you go to this quote, remember... My personal favorite is the one-hour foot massages for about $7. I get at least one a day while I am here. At least one. That could be four. That could be five. Okay. Is he out there just looking for these, you know, underage, you know, uh, brothelariums, if you will, that he is going around to put these things? What year was this? And, uh, you know, what year? How old are these girls? What country? Where was this picture taken? And see if anybody can get the answer to that question. I challenge anyone to get the answer to that question from this guy. Okay? Because he runs from this picture like it's the plague. I guarantee it. You're going to like the way you look. I guarantee it. So now, who do we have here? Oh, yeah. Okay, there they are. And then what? We got another one with Karen. Okay, Karen and the, um, you know, the, the one that she, that's the kid that she, um, uh, you know. All right. Aaron Grady. Oh, Aaron, run. Okay, if you're watching this, Aaron Grady, run. Run. Oh, here's one with apostate Alex and Aaron Grady. Who's Aaron Grady? Find her. Bring her to me. And I don't mean in a weird way. I want to know what she's about. Just like I've said it before. I've said it about... And Mitch... Here's a Mitch Brisker, Betty Misc Biddy Miscavige. I mean, look at all these people. And let me remind you, for the people that are watching, that's this guy. Okay, that's Mark Fisher. That's this guy. So let's all keep that in mind. This guy. Right. Oh, thank you, Steph. I guess it's her daughter. <coughs> Wait a second. That means that's. 
That's Eber's daughter, right? Shit, no way. Is that Eber's daughter? That could be Eber's daughter. We'll figure that out later, okay? Okay, but here's uh, the prostate, Alex. And there she is. Oh, yeah, Aaron Grady. Is this Eber's daughter? Is Dana in here? Gonna go forward a little here on this. The fuck. Um, they were empty. There wasn't. There weren't enough staff to fill posts there. They were just used as storage. But after I left, I believe they did put some staff there and expanded a little bit. So Aaron and Alex, I just want you guys to know that this is the guy that you're talking to. Okay, here he is. And now a Alex looks like he likes this kind of thing. So I think Alex kind of likes this. Alex wishes he was in this picture. Right, Alex? Because this is okay with you. So you wish you were in this picture, Alex? You piece of garbage? You, all you sacks of shit that sit there and, and help this guy? When he should be in prison. In prison. Put a one in the chat if he should be in prison. Where All this bullshit. If Heber was Janice's stepfather, they're Mormons. How about that, J.D. Lotus? How about that answer? <laughs> but that is a good point. But that's, that's also my point, is that they are Mormon. And I don't know if they do that sort of thing, but it seems like they do. I mean, I wouldn't know. That's just my guess. Okay, so anyway, enough of that one. Let's get back to this um, other part here. And you can see, look, Mark Headley, very recently, six days ago. Now, six days ago is when we started to, um, you know, we, we've exposed this at least six days ago. So Mark Headley knew that we were exposing this, and he still went on because Mark Headley is a piece of shit. Okay, Mark Headley stands for nothing. Mark Headley is a fucking coward. Mark Headley would never, would never, I guarantee you, stand up in front of me. Ever. Neither would this fat fuck. And here we also have, remember, Poe on the go, another old man who visits Asian countries alone by himself. Right? So here he is with Poe on the go. And Poe on the go... Man, he is on the go. He goes to Thailand. Po Taki Thai. Po Taki Thai real good. Okay. Problems like here in America, someone rushed Ew, up. Ew, look who it is also on there. Clearwater Chad fuck cuck. Or something like that. Ew, yeah. you disgusting pieces of shit. Hey, guys, look who your buddy is. Look at this. Let me just remind you, this is your friend. These are his friends. And this is a direct quote from him. So let's just remember this again. We got to see this is his at the bottom. My personal favorite is the one hour foot massages for $7. I get at least one a day while I'm there. What is it? One, four, five. You know, I know that sounds like a blues song, but that's not what we're talking about here. All right. What we're talking about is this. Mark, who are these girls? What country is this? And what year was this taken? Why is there a man on the boat behind you? What river is this? Where are we here, bud? Why is your arm around her with the red arrow that I put there so that you could see that his arm is around this girl? Huh? Why is your arm around her? And look at her hand. Her arm is bent. She is not comfortable. She is not comfortable. Okay? And this girl's hand is like, 
clenched up a little bit over here. They are not comfortable with this scenario. But look at him smiling. You fucking, this is disgusting. I don't care what the fuck this picture was for. I could give two fucks. I don't care if it was a Von, look at that, and look at the Von Dutch. Yeah, exactly. Look at the Von Dutch shirt that the girl has. <laughs> oh my God. It's a Von Dutch fucking shirt. Jesus H. Christ. So that would be, that might be the early 2000s if there's a Von Dutch shirt. A D Von Dutch shirt. I'll bet if you guys, uh, if we put our heads together and looked up this shirt, we could figure out like, this is, the, the, these folks probably got these shirts maybe like, who knows where they are though? Like what country they're in. They'll never say it. He'll never admit it. Anyhow, Clearwater Chad, you disgusting piece of shit, just like your friend that you're on the screen with, right above you. You guys don't even look this stuff up. What do you mean? Time frame? Um, what are we talking here? Time frame of what? Of this? Can you see it in the bottom? You should be able to see it in the bottom of the... Um, of the overall thing. Yeah. And so I remember walking out. I didn't even do an intro on the mic because. Ah, yeah. What was on the boat behind them? There was a guy standing on the boat behind them. Who was the guy? What was he doing there? You know? Oh, yeah. And Poe on the go. We showed you in the special that I did about him, his trips to Thailand by himself. A man who is in his 50s. I thought I said his 60s. He looks like shit. Um. He looks old and tired and messed up. He is one of the types of people that, being an ex-police chief, these are the people that are never looked at. And any honest man, Poe's not an honest man, because he hasn't responded. Mark Fisher, not an honest man, hasn't responded. They've been told not to respond, probably. Chad, piece of shit. He's probably watching right now, you know. They're just all garbage. Look at this. Now, remember, once again, gentlemen, you are in the frame with this guy. I don't give a fuck what these pictures are for. Does anybody else? I don't care. This is inappropriate no matter what way you slice it. Tell me I'm wrong. <sighs> so basically what we have here is this group of just dirtbags. A Kerry Gleason. Oh, he, uh, Kerry Gleason? Who's Kerry Gleason? Was he friends with these guys? Oh, good. Bye. And Mike Rinder, we did a video, you know, I mean, look at that. How disgusting. And what? he go, These two guys go on with him again. Sterling goes on with him again. And what? Jeffrey didn't find this out about this guy? Like, basically a hillbilly and a has-been, right? So now we see also uh, Jeffrey Augustine. On the same screen with a little peen. You know what I mean? Jeffrey Augustine with your little peen. You ain't got no ween. Oh, come on. Load up. Load up. Load up. Load up. Come on. Load it up. There we go. Okay. I want you to go now, 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 now. But if you quick it, that's a crime. It, it, it's just irrational. Yeah. Given that they want you to prefer consent belongs to you, the individual. Look at this. Consent belongs to you, the individual. Let's find out something about old Jeffrey Little Peen. 
So when you join a church, whether it's Scientology or the Church of Christ or any other church, you give your consent to be governed by the, their ecclesiastical laws and discipline. Now, that puts you under their governance. Now, And this guy, Mitch Brisker, in the upper right, we're, we're going we're gonna to see what's going on with this clown. And Mitch, guess what? If it's there, if there's dirt under your fingernails, fucko, we're going to find it. Okay? We're going to find it, Mitch Brisker. We're going to find out everything about you. Okay? Just the way these cocksuckers did about me, we're going to find out everything about you. Okay? We're going to find out everything about you. Everything we can. Just like we did with Mark. Hope you have no dirt under your fingernails, bitch brisker. I'm going to duck behind here so we could uh, watch this a little bit. I'm going to hide on this screen behind little peen. So when you resign from a church, you withdraw your consent because it belongs to you. And you, you cannot be good. They're, they're, they cannot impose their rules on you. So this is important in how to escape oh. the Scientology trap. And this is, I'm going I'm to go somewhere with this. And so Marion Gwynn, consultant attorney, he wrote a letter of resignation. Marion Gwynn. Jeffrey doesn't have a thought in his fucking head. I wonder, thinking of that, I wonder, was it Bill, like a Bill Drescher kind of guy who was like, Ugh, you know God, what? this slobbery, slobbery, that. juicy man. Shut the before, fuck up. Right? Getting the colonics I had, and that's new. But yeah, uh, there was a book Jim Mars wrote called The Alien Agenda, 2007. Yeah. And it was about how the alien yeah. shifting reptilians are taking over the government and the planet. Yeah. And David Miscavige, this is what Marty Rothman told me. He said that David Miscavige, that was his favorite book, and he was ordering everyone on the base to read it. Whoa. Now, later at the end what, of the What year was that? Do you, do you know what year that was? 2007, if I recall. Okay, the yeah, that, agenda, that kind of rings a bell. Jim like, Mars. 2007 is the year that Mike Rinder said he left. That was his last year there. So was he still there? Did Jeff break into that house? This house is actually, that is a green screen uh, behind him. That is one of the selections in StreamYard that you get. That's one of the free backgrounds that everybody uses. So he is using a green screen. And yeah. it, it, was quite, it made quite a sensation. So anyway, you get the idea. Shit bags, covering for shit bags. Oh, look, Mark Headley, all these people, Karen, Jeffrey, Mitch, and Mark. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Apostate Alex, a prostate Alex. Ew. His look at how his glasses keep slipping and falling. Like, look at this little clip here. This is hilarious. Look at this. You gross fucking bitch. Ugh. So it's just all, it's all bad. All right. Did Jeff break into that house? It's all bad. It's all bad. Nothing is good. Nothing here is right. Nothing is sound. Nothing is, 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 is happening. It's all a mess. These people are a mess. What they do is a mess. Okay? This freaking... Dude is a mess. All right? I mean, we got to keep in mind what this video about is this. Why is this happening? Why are people so obsessed with me when this is happening in their own backyard? Are you people fools? Or are you just complicit? Okay? Remember, his favorite, the one-hour foot massages for $17 or for $7, I get at least one a day while I'm there. How many is that? How many is that that you got, Mark? How many of these were you getting? And another thing I want to know is, Mark, were those girls giving you a massage? Were these girls giving you a massage, Mark? If you people who are the goons that are obsessed with me aren't asking this question of these people and why people like Aaron, Karen, Darren, <laughs> none of them drive a McLaren. Uh, it's okay. Stop. 
children. What's that sound, everybody? Look, what's it's Jeffrey. Why is the hand around her waist? Why is that there? You got a lot of explaining to do. We'll see you on the next one. the next one make sure you like and share this okay Ufa. i can't do this without you let's go yeah share this like an addict do i gotta have it i ain't even playing got a really bad habit if it moves gotta grab it fuse like a magnet you just won't people, have it till i'm doomed in a casket I ain't playing, gotta work Thank you. Mine. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. Like and share. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter. Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter. Big picture, I'm a straight killer. I can't do it without you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast. New shoes, new tracks, like who's that? I'm new, come back better than last. Yeah, it's a new me, never gonna lie.